Hello, welcome to our weekly program. Um, I want to first thank you all for watching and commenting and sharing our videos. Um, we've had really, really good feedback with these and um, are excited to offer more. We've got, um, I think we're booking almost through August now. So we have a lot of people scheduled to speak to you. Um, some great information. Um, so be looking for that. But I want to give this program a name. Um, if you could comment below and help me figure out a name for this. And I'll give you a, a couple of key things we do. We do them every Wednesday and we're doing them at lunch. Uh, we used to do lunch and learns at the office and we find that um, a lot of moms can't come, you know, during that time. So we went online to um, be able to offer you information about natural health care and other tips. Um, but today um, during the show, feel free to um, comment, um, ask any questions you have, and we'll see if we can answer back. Um, so today, our, um, we, today we have our own Dr. Rebecca, Dr. Rebecca Schulke. She's outside in the beautiful sunny day. Um, she's a real good sport with helping with these projects. Um, and I really appreciate her. And so with school coming up in just um, two weeks for some, three weeks, four weeks for others, we thought we would um, share some backpack tips today to um, help prevent spinal injuries. So welcome, Dr. Schulke. You want to take it away? Yes. Thank you. So today we're going to be talking about backpack safety. And I was thinking, what are the key things that you need to know when it comes to backpacks? And one, I thought, you know, the most important thing is how the backpack fits, making sure that you have the right size, the right ergonomics for your child. And then, of course, number two, making sure their spine is in good alignment as well because that can also make backpacks really uncomfortable. So we'll talk about that as well. So the first thing I wanna talk about is how to choose a good backpack for your child. It's not about what's the most stylish or what your child likes the most in terms of how it looks, but it's really about different components in terms of the size of your backpack, the straps that it comes with, and how many compartments your backpack has. So first, in talking about the size of your backpack, it's going to be different for every child. So I took, I found this backpack from whenever I was in school, so it's a little bit old, but I will show you some key things to keep in mind when you're shopping for a backpack. So the first one is how big it is in relation to your torso. One, you wanna make sure that the backpack is a little bit smaller than the width of your child's torso and that it's also a little bit shorter than the overall length of the torso as well. So if you look at mine, mine has a couple of key things that you don't want for your child's backpack. One is see how low it comes and also how high it comes. This one is a little too tall for my torso. So I would actually want a smaller one than what I chose as well as the width. If you look at the width, See how it spans the whole width of my waist and I can actually pull out the sides here too. You want it to be a little bit smaller than that because it's really going to be custom for how big your torso is. You can really overload it and make it too heavy for your individual spine. So keep that in mind first and foremost. The second thing are the straps. This one has, a, this, these have good straps as far as the amount of cushion. The, the cushion on this, it's about a half inch of padding on the straps and you can see how they start in the neck at the base of the neck and they stop right where the shoulder joint starts so you want to use this whole area of real estate for your child's shoulders to evenly distribute the weight because if they're too skinny then they're going to cut into their shoulders and cause discomfort in the muscles and it might make them kind of hunch and pull forward if it's uncomfortable in this area. Now, one bad thing about these straps is there, there should be really a compression strap through here. The, the ones that run horizontal, one here is the most common one. Then they also, a lot of them have two where they'll have one around the waist. So the compression straps are really important because We've all had the time where we're running to catch the bus or we're walking really fast. And what happens? The backpack shifts back and forth and it causes a lot of torsion 
And it might just be a little bit, but it's enough that biomechanically, it's gonna make your child's spine twist with every movement that they take. So the compression straps help to keep things locked down in place. I remember many times having to run and you have to do this while you're running to hold it in place. So that's really key to keeping the spine stable as well. Now, the third thing would be talking about the compartments of your backpack. This one does not have good compartments because it only has two and they're both pretty large. You want to have about three or four compartments and you want to have one main one and then about three ones that will extend out in size going from largest to smallest. So this one, I don't know if you can see it, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty large. I could probably fit about five or six textbooks in this big compartment. So I would be more apt to overload it for my body type. And then it has a secondary compartment that's almost as big as the first one as well that you could fit even more in here. So if I really wanted to, I could probably make this thing weigh almost as much as I could. And then, you know, it's going to encourage your child to bring more than is necessary that day to school. So just having a smaller backpack isn't going to make them not able to bring what they need. They're just going to have to pick and choose what is really essential for them to bring that day. So let's say now that you have the correct backpack for your child and they're still complaining of pain, maybe they look posturally uncomfortable or you see them hunching or carrying awkwardly, it may not be the backpack itself. It could actually be their spine that is not in proper position if you know their low back is shifted their upper back even their neck if their hips are off balance then any amount of extra weight that you add to their spine is not only going to cause some pain and discomfort it's also going to cause some possible long-term damage from loading more weight onto their spine that is already out of position so it's just going to bring to the surface problems that are already existing within their spine. So of course, keep us in mind with the upcoming school year and getting your child checked, making sure that their back and their hips are ready to carry their backpacks and do hours of sitting on end with what this coming school year brings. Uh, we'd be happy to check your child's spine. Feel free to bring their backpack in as well so we can evaluate that to make sure that you have the correct fit for your child. Wonderful tips. I really appreciate those. I have a question. Um, how should they pack their backpack for, um, for the best weight distribution? Absolutely. So um, the best way to pack the backpack is to start with the heaviest things, most central or close to the spine. So use that big compartment for heavy, the heaviest textbook, one or two at most in the large compartment. And then if you have something that takes up more space that would keep those items from shifting around like a sweater or, you know, something that is larger but lighter in weight to keep them stable, that would be a great idea. And then in the other compartments that are extending out from the large one, then you can put smaller books in here, but you want to still, you want to keep them in the middle of the backpack so they're not lying to one side or the other. It'll cause them to you know, shift their spine and curve to one side. So always largest to smallest. Great, so much information. Um, ideally, if they don't um, follow the rules for the backpack, what about the rolling thingies? <laughs> <laughs> so the rolling, it might sound like a great idea. So you're, you're trading one hazard for the other. Um, the rolling backpacks, they could make you do this all the time, which could cause shifts. And also they are a big tripping hazard and they cause traffic jams in high schools. High schools encourage kids to not use the rolling backpacks because kids can't get safely from one classroom to the other. Great wow. question. That is really interesting. I had no idea about that. Um, well, thank you. Do you have anything else you want to add about backpacks? Stay safe and have a healthy, happy school year. <laughs> Well, thank you, Dr. Rebecca. I really appreciate you doing this. And then if you um, you know somebody with kids going back to school um, that they're going to be using backpacks, please feel free to share this um, very informative video that she just did. 
Um, and then if you want us to check your backpacks on your kids, please um, bring them in and we'll help you. We'll help adjust the size. Um, we'll let you know if it's the proper sizing and things like that. So um, thank you very much again, Dr. Rebecca. I really appreciate it and have a thank great you. day.